Well, uh, hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the Black History Not Taught in Schools mini series here on my channel. This is day 18. I hope that you all have been enjoying this mini series featuring the Black History flashcards from urbanintellectuals.com. These videos are not sponsored. I am simply using these cards to highlight and to give information on, you know, the black history that we are not taught in schools. So if you are interested in these black history flashcards, then you can find them on urbanintellectuals.com. Um, as these videos are not sponsored, I do not have any type of code or anything, but I do believe there are five volumes of these cards. I am simply just highlighting volumes one and two, volume two, which is the women. And uh, yeah, because a lot of these, a lot of the people and events and uh, you know, stories are not taught to us in regular school, in the basic history class. So that's where I decided to highlight these. So this is day 18. So we are up to card number 18 in each of these decks. So let's get into it and check these out. So all right, so today we have the Harlem Renaissance and Ella Baker. So let's let's check them out. So first, the Harlem Renaissance in Harlem, New York, the 1920s to the mid 1930s, and. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Louis Armstrong there. So, okay. So the Harlem, Harlem Renaissance was a cultural, social, and artistic explosion. New Negro movement. Grew out of the changes that had taken place in the African American community since the abolition of slavery. Slavery, my gosh. The period of time when African Americans were encouraged to celebrate their heritage, racial pride, creative expression, and intellectualism. And the significant figures included Louis, Arm Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Claude McKay, Zora Neale Hurston, Bessie Smith, Paul Robeson, and Langston Hughes. So, yeah, the Harlem Renaissance was a cultural, basically a movement, and it just took place for people to start, to start stepping to their creativity is what I'll say, is that to start being proud of yourself, self-love creativity and expanding it from there so as you can see there's writers there's musicians there's you know speakers so yeah and a lot of these people based out of Harlem so yeah that is the Harlem Renaissance from the 1920s to the mid 1930s Next, we have here Ella Baker, December 13th, 1903 to December 13th, 1986. So she passed on her birthday, which, wow, this is the first car that I've seen that. So 1903 to 1986 so she was 83 and had a great life well I mean 
<laughs> I just tossed that out there, but had a long life. So here we go. She was a civil rights activist and behind the scenes organizer. She was considered by many to be the most influential woman of the civil rights movement because of the work she did with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC. She worked beside some of the most prominent civil rights leaders of the 20th century, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Thurgood Marshall, and W.E.B. Du Bois. She served as an organizer on the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, and guided students who were leading campus sit-ins. She continued her activism in later years and was passionate about solving school desegregation problems, ending the apartheid in South Africa, and addressing police brutality issues in the U.S. So, isn't that interesting that that's still something that is happening in 2023, trying to address the police brutality issues in the U.S. And she passed away in 1986. So what does that tell you if that is something that we are still working on, that the system is working the way that it's been created to work? So it's not about us trying to change the system. It's about us separating from that system that does not, that will not change and until you know, it's going to have to be forced to be changed. So, yeah, but Ella Baker is one of the figures that we are not taught about in schools. So those I mean, the Harlem Renaissance, it may be taught about maybe in like a music class. I, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, so these are two more black history events slash figures that are not taught in schools. So if you are enjoying these this series and... Uh, you yeah want me to continue with it i'm going to continue with it anyways <laughs> so i'm going to continue until i get to card 52 so yeah but if you are enjoying these series then please feel free to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below however you would like to help to get these videos out to a larger audience i would be appreciative of so that is day 18. I appreciate you all for being here, and I will see you in the next one.